Let's get the Yezu 891 set up and running with Build-A-Pie. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Now, if you want to verify your radio settings, you can look down in the description below and I'm going to leave a list of all of the critical settings to get the 891 up and running with digital. Your settings may not be exact, but it should give you a great starting point. For the sound card, we're going to be using the Sombrant sound card, which can be picked up on Amazon for around $9. For the GPS unit, we're going to be using a VK-172 USB GPS, which can also be purchased on Amazon for around $9. And then finally, for the cat control cable, I've got a 6-inch cat control cable that goes from the radio to the Pi, and that can be had for $7 as well on Amazon. And I'll leave links to all of these down in the description below. So let's head over to the Pi and get going. Okay, let's see if we can get this set up. First thing I want to do is open up the terminal window and we're going to run a couple of different commands here so we can kind of identify where things are. The first thing we want to run is a record space hyphen L. Go ahead and press return. What this is going to give us is the sound card information that we'll need later on. So you'll see this three right here and you'll see this device zero right here. So that tells us that our card number and device uh, is three comma zero. And we'll be using that a little bit later as we set things up. The next command that's handy to run is ls space, let me get that mouse out of the way, forward slash dev, forward slash serial, forward slash by hyphen ID. Let's go ahead and press return on that. And that's going to give us a list of USB devices on our Pi. Now, the first two that you see listed here are both the Radio, and there's really only a little bit of a difference right out here at the end in these, IF00 port 0 and IF01 port 0. We will be mainly using IF00 today. This last entry right here is the GPS that I have connected to the Pi at the moment. And we'll need that information when we start setting up the GPS. So let's go ahead and just minimize that. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open FL Rig. Now, as FL Rig opens, you will get this transceiver not responding. That's to be expected because we haven't set up the transceiver yet. So I'll just go ahead and close that. And let's get FL Rig down here so we can get to it a little easier. Let's go to Config, Setup, and Transceiver. The first thing we want to do is right here under Rig is go ahead and select the 891. In the next drop down box, we'll go ahead and open that up. And we're looking for that IF00 port 0 that we saw earlier. So you can see that's the USB to UART bridge controller. Now, under the baud rate, you want to choose whatever the radio is set to. In my particular case, that is set to 4800. If you're unsure, go take a look at your radio at menu 5-6, and it'll tell you what it is set to. So let's go ahead and... Whoop, didn't quite get that one moved up. Let's grab 4800 here, and then that should do it. Everything else we should be able to leave at default. Let's go ahead and press initialize. You should hear the radio click a couple of times. You'll get green down here where it says connected, and we're done. So we can go ahead and close that configuration dialog, and now we can just move FL Rig over here in the corner and get it out of the way for the time being. Now, let's go ahead and open up WSJTX and configure it next. Inside of WSJTX, go ahead and click on File and Settings. I'm going to move this over just a little bit so we can also see the frequency right here inside of uh, the main screen. Let's start by entering our call sign and our grid. And then let's head over to the Radio tab. Under Rig, I'm going to choose FL Rig, FL Rig. That will tell WSJTX 
to let FL Rig handle uh, the PTT and uh, all of the radio control. Under the PTT method, we're going to set that to cat. Under mode, we're going to set it to data and packet. And under split operation, I like to use fake it. Now, let's go ahead and configure our audio card real quick. Under input, I'm looking for this ALSA input USB hyphen C media. I'm going to go ahead and choose it for my input. And then we'll go ahead and choose the output next. We'll scroll down to the very bottom, and this time we're looking for the output USB hyphen C hyphen media. Let's go ahead and choose it, and let's head back over to the radio tab. Let's verify that everything works by first clicking on the test cat button. You'll see that the cat button went green, and if you look over here, you can see that the frequency in WSJTX now matches what we have over here in FL Rig. So that is working correctly. Let's go ahead and test the PTT next. My radio went into transmit mode, so that should have us finished up WSJTX. Next, we can move on to JSA Call. Once JSA Call opens up, let's go ahead and give it our call sign and our grid. Now we'll go ahead and head over to the radio tab. Just like we did in WSJTX, for the radio we're going to choose FL Rig, FL Rig. We'll choose CAT under the PTT method. Under Mode, we'll use Data and Packet. And then once again, under Split Operation, I like to use Fake It. Let's take a quick peek at the audio tab. And you'll see that JSA Call has actually already auto-selected the correct sound card. So, just like we used before, we'll use under the input, we'll use input USB-C media. And under output, it will be output USB-C media. Let's head back to the radio tab and go ahead and test that cat connection. The button comes back green, and you'll notice that our frequency in JSA Call now matches what we have in FL Rig. Let's go ahead and give it a quick PTT test. And it looks like everything is working correctly. Now let's go ahead and tackle FL Digi. If this is the first time you've opened FL Digi, you'll get this FL Digi configuration wizard. Let's go ahead and choose next. On the first screen, I'm simply going to give it uh, my call for station call sign and operator call sign. Go ahead and click next. For sound card and devices, I'm simply going to choose port audio. And then under capture, I'm looking for USB audio device. Now, look right here and you'll notice that HW3,0. That is exactly what we saw in the very beginning of the video when we ran the A record hyphen L. Remember that three and zero. So that is our card number that we need. So let's go ahead and choose USB audio device HW3, zero for both the capture and the playback in FL Digi. Let's go ahead and choose next. And this screen is dealing with rig control through FL Rig, and this is the setup again that we want to use. So we're going to put a check mark in this first box that enables FL Rig to control FL Digi. Go ahead and choose next. This screen is simply another way that you might want to do rig control. Since we're using FL Rig, I'm going to skip this screen and the next screen that deals with Hamlib. On the final screen, I'm just going to leave everything at default again. Let's go ahead and click Finish. Once FL Digi opens up, you should see the frequency match what is set in FL Rig. To check the PTT control, you can click the Tune button and verify that your radio goes into Transmit. Mine does, so we're good to go. Next up, we need to cover Pat Winlink. So to do that, let's go ahead and open up Pat Menu. And we'll come right down here to Settings and Config. And let's go into our current configuration settings. Under Rig Control, I'm going to set that to Yes. Under the RDOP command right here, you want to make sure that this 3, 0 matches our card number. And that actually comes in there twice. So you see it once there, 
and then scrolling on to the end of that line, you will see 3 comma 0 again. You should be able to leave everything else at default. The only thing we need to worry about is this HF mode for radio. Take a quick look at FL Rig and verify that your radio is in Data U mode. Let's go ahead and open up the terminal window real quick and we'll just clear that screen. And I'm going to run a simple command to find out the exact parameters that we need to set in PAT menu to move the radio to Data U mode. So I'm going to run RIG CTL space hyphen M space 4 space M. And all this is is a back end command to ask FL Rig what its current mode is. We'll go ahead and press return and you see that it returns with PKT USB 3000. So armed with that information, let's jump back to PAT menu and right here under HF mode, we'll give it opening quotation mark, PKT USB space 3000 and closing quotation marks. Let's go ahead and click update and we can go ahead and return to the main menu. Now, if you plan to use the R dot modem, go ahead and click on this manage PAT win link and under set R dot PTT, let's click on that and let's set this to true. Go ahead and click set PTT and that will allow PAT win link to trigger the radio through FL rig. We'll go ahead and click OK and return to the main menu. And that has PAT menu and the R dot modem configured correctly. Next, we need to tackle the VARA HF modem. So let's go ahead and go up to the PI menu, come down to ham radio, and I'm going to open the VARA HF modem. Once the VARA modem opens, let's go ahead and choose settings. And under VARA setup, if we click on that, if you have a registration key for VARA, you would go ahead and input that here, the call sign and the registration key. Once you've input that data, go ahead and click close. Let's go back to settings and let's choose the sound card. Under the input, we'll choose the drop down box and use USB audio device. Under the default output or device output, again, we're looking for that USB audio device. Once you've got that selected, go ahead and choose close. Now, one thing to notice right here is my audio input is a bit high. Let's see if we can get that fixed. I'm gonna open up the terminal window and let's see if we can move this over out of the way. And I'm just going to run the command ALSA mixer. Press return. I'm gonna try to get this to where we can see as much as possible on this screen. It's a little hard because uh, on the Pi, VARA is always in the foreground. You can't send it to the background. But I don't want to minimize it because I want to be able to watch this audio input right here. Okay, so after you've run the ALSA mixer command, you'll notice right here that we can use F6 to select the sound card. So I'm going to press F6 on the keyboard and come down to the USB audio device. Under the USB audio device, I'm going to use my right arrow key to move over and highlight auto gain control in red. And I'm going to press M on the keyboard to mute it or turn it off. Now, if we notice the audio input is at a much better level than it was before. So that should take care of setting the audio level for VARA HF. To get out of the ALSA mixer, you can just press escape on the keyboard. Now we need to go ahead and configure the GPS and get it up and running. So let's go ahead and go up to the Pi menu. I'm gonna come down to Accessories and the GPS Update Tool. In this particular instance, I'm using a USB GPS device. So let's go ahead and choose USB right here and click on Continue. It'll tell you to connect the GPS to your Pi. Mine is already connected. So let's go ahead and press Continue. And then from the dropdown, we're looking for our GPS receiver. You'll see that right here in the last line where it says uBlock7 GPS. Let's go ahead and choose it and say OK. And it will let us know that the GPS has been updated. Let's give that a quick test by opening the terminal window. And this time we're going to type C GPS. We'll press return and you'll see that the system is reading my GPS correctly. 
Now, if we give it just about uh, maybe a minute or two, we'll see this no GPS change and give us our grid square right up here in our Conky window. All right, guys, that should give you a pretty good start on getting the 891 up and running with digital modes with the Raspberry Pi. If you found this information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.